What's up everybody, Adam here, and today's First Issue Friday is a little more primal and dark. This week we take a look at Dark Engine from Image Comics, written by Ryan Burton and artist John Bivens. This one definitely isn't for the kiddies, so parental discretion is advised. Our story begins with a creature speaking of someone named the Ivory Wolf, while it and other small beings feast around a fire. The following page shows what I'm assuming is the arrival of the Ivory Wolf. She seems to burst from a dinosaur, and as mentioned on the previous page, takes one of the deceased reptile's ribs and uses it as a weapon. She then cleans herself of the gore and uses more pieces of the dinosaur skeleton to fashion crude weapons. Clearly she is preparing to hunt. This then brings us to the alchemist sanctuary. Two men are discussing Sim, who was sent back in time to stop the spread of poison from Sporeland. Sim is the name of the ivory wolf. One of the men, named Paul, is afraid the plan will fail and can no longer take living with the images of having killed his sister after she had been attacked by a creature from Sporeland. Paul also speaks of something that was put inside of Sim before she was sent back. He feels that Sim is being controlled by what was put in her and feels they won't be saved, then throws himself off a cliff. A shadowy figure then informs the other man that she did not land where she was intended, so perhaps Paul was right. The following pages portray a vicious fight between Sim and a couple of feathered creatures. The action is very intense and violent. Before the fight has ended, an internal shot of Sim shows what looks like a seed caged in her wound. Mid-battle, various tendrils begin to shoot out of her body, and she seems to explode. Finally, we see a father and son standing by what appears to be the River Nile. The father says how nice and perfect it is, and then this happens. The book ends with a bloody hippo carcass and what looks like Sim laying inside of it. The man then says that they should kneel to Amut, an Egyptian god of death. I've read and reread this book several times, and honestly, I still don't truly understand what's going on. Oftentimes, the first issue explains the world and the characters, but I just don't think this one really hit the mark. Other than Sim, or the Ivory Wolf, or whatever we want to call her, they don't really explain who the other characters are, or even their names. The main story seems to express how this is like a dystopian future, but I'm not even clear on that. While I wasn't very impressed with the overall story, I definitely feel Bivens paints an impressive picture of the violence and desperation and vision of this world. It does seem somewhat over the top, but they make it sound as if Sim is a killing machine, so the artwork accurately portrays that. As far as recommending this one, I have to not recommend it this week. Maybe I'm missing something in the story, but I just felt lost the whole time. Showing characters but not properly introducing them has always bothered me, and this title does that a lot. Even the established world didn't feel very explained, and I felt detached from that and lacked interest in learning more. And while the art does a good job of storytelling, I didn't really enjoy it. It felt a bit sloppy and cluttered altogether. So, until next video, this is Adam, signing off. Thanks for watching this newest episode of First Issue Friday. If you liked what you saw, why not toss me a like down there? If you really liked what you saw, why not subscribe so you can see future episodes when they come out? Until then, why don't you check out one of the two older episodes in the corners? Bye!